In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a material with a uh, plastic deformation uh, model. So we come in here, we'll just do, um, we'll just do aluminum. Um, of course, just like before, we've in the past we've pulled down isotropic elasticity. Now we're going to look down the plasticity section and we're going to use bilinear isotropic hardening. Um, let's see, so just drag that down. We drop it on the properties, we see it inserts that. And we can see the yellow ones are the main ones that we need to fill in. Young's modulus, so I put in 69 gigapascals, 0.3 for the Poisson's ratio. And then the key to do things are the yield strength. So I can go ahead and define a yield strength. And then a tangent modulus. So this would be the slope. You're treating this as two slopes. So it has an elastic slope and then a plastic slope. If I put a zero in there, then you can see it makes a nice plot there. That's just perfect elastic plastic behavior. Um, if there's substrate hardening, I could put, for example, a, uh, a slope on that. Um, but that's so small still compared to the uh, Young's modulus. It looks, looks flat. Just to prove that, you can start to see a slope by the time we get to gigapascal. I'm going to go ahead and, and just put a slope of 10,000 on there just because it might help a little bit with the stability uh, when it's uh, stretching. But we're essentially trying to do elastic, perfectly plastic. I haven't tested whether that's necessary, uh, but, but it could be helpful. And you can imagine, you could choose one that would be more representative uh, of the materials that you have. But this is, we're going to go with this. Let me drag this chart over here so you can see it. Um, so this is what I was talking about. We have, it's creating a chart of the stress uh, strain relationship based on the data that you have. And we can see if we update that the one, you see you start to get a slope. Okay. So that's uh, the basic model, and now that, that would allow us to include plasticity in our cases anytime we assign that material. 